Mumbai. He is a fellow member of following organization. America and Mid is Institute of Chemistry. Analytical and Nuclear Chemistry of Allied Scientists, BARC, India. World Research Association. He is also on the editorial board of research journal of chemistry and environment. He is a PhD guide. His field of research is magnetic surfactants and herbal medicine. Sir has published many research papers of an international repute. There are many national and international awards to his credit. He has been awarded as a leading scientist of the world in 2012, Cambridge, England. He has been selected one amongst 2,000 intellectuals of the 21st century Cambridge, England in 2012. Sir has authored books for junior college, degree college and competitive exams like IIT, JEE and NEET under S. Chan publication. Sir has taught all the formats of chemistry almost all over India. Presently, he is head of chemistry department and associate professor at Maharashtra College, Mumbai. We are fortunate to have such a versatile personality with us to share his knowledge <coughs> and to guide us. I request, sir, to begin with the session. Thank you so much. Awesome. Uh, thank you, Dr. Urmila Maru, madam. Uh, now I would like to request uh, Sheikh sir to deliver the top of career guidance. Uh, and one more thing, uh, Sheikh sir, we have uh, just sending the YouTube streaming link to you. You have to forward this link to your student. And now you can start your session, sir. Yes. You, sir. <clears throat> yes, sir. Uh, am I audible? Yes, sir. You are. Yes. Respected principal our loving principal and very old friend of mine professor dr rathod sir very nice to see you virtually head of the chemistry department dr rumila maru ma'am dr ambore dr sandeep and all the colleagues all the participants and loving students today we all are here for chemcaster the different competitions in that today's my talk is on career prospects in chemistry. I have designed my talk in two parts. The first part I'll be letting you know what the chemistry is and its applications. The second part will be the career opportunities in chemistry in India and abroad and I will let you know that why you should make a career in chemistry. Chemistry opes its inception from Egypt. The chemists were called as alchemists. Chemistry is mother of sciences. On one side it makes bridge with physics that is a chemical physics on the other side it makes bridge with biological sciences that is your botany zoology and all the life sciences that is biochemistry and biotechnology chemistry is defined as the science of atoms their structure interaction and combination atoms the atom, the building block of matter. In 8th century, Jabir ibn Hayyan said that atom is the smallest part of a matter which takes part in a chemical reaction without losing its identity. Same thing was repeated after 1000 years in 1803 by Dalton who said that atom is the smallest individual particle which takes part in the chemical reaction while retaining its identity. Remember, he coined the idea in early 19th century that atom is indivisible. 
But today we all know there are more than 20 subatomic particles. Electrons, protons, neutrons, gravitons, photons, phonons, V particle, G particle, leptons, gluons, bosons, mesons, quarks, top quark, down quark, bottom quark, charm quark, strange quark, beauty quark. And 2013, Nobel Prize was given for God particle jointly to Peter Hicks and Frank Weiss Englert. This God particle is very powerful, exists everywhere but cannot be traced. It originates from an invisible field and this field is present even though space seems to be empty because without this field nothing can acquire the mass from plants to flowers, to animals, to human beings, nothing can exist without this field. There are different facets of chemistry. Organic chemistry, inorganic chemistry, physical chemistry, analytical chemistry, pharmaceutical chemistry, textile chemistry, drugs, dyes, perfumery, oils, fats, and cosmetology, forensic science, blood chemistry, emotional chemistry as well as polymer chemistry. So many are there. You must be thinking what is the emotional chemistry. Remember the happiness, sadness, stressed, depressed, relaxed. All these are because of chemical reaction taking place in our body. And the chemical messengers that is neurotransmitters are generated in the brain and because of that one falls in love, L-O-V-E or cries of reverse because of heartbreak. The polymer chemistry has centralized the entire world. Light emitting polymers they find in cellular phones, television, laptop, computer screens as well as organic solar cells. Light emitting diodes has created a revolution I must say in traffic signals, railway indicators, remote controls as well as camera flashlights and medicines. There are water soluble polymers. They form a part of plasma as well as the whole blood. The synthetic blood is nothing but the emulsion of polytetrafluoroethylene along with that glucose, salt and surfactants. Nowadays, if you might have seen, the doctors use sutures. That is biodegradable polymers, water soluble polymers that is copolymer glycolic acid and lactic acid. Doctors, they do the stitching, they join together the tissues till healing. And after one week or two weeks time, this polymer breaks into monomer and monomer is metabolized in the body. If you see the heart, heart valves are made up of silicon rubber. Aneurysm that is said to be the weakened arterial wall for the polyesters or polytetrafluoroethylene fabrics are used. In case of complete blocked arteries, it is noticed that polytetrafluoroethylene as well as polymethylmethoxylate fabrics are used. The heart pumps titanium, polycarbonate, polytetrafluoroethylene, along with that polymethoxylate. If we look at bone fracture, when the bone gets fractured, you must have seen the doctor applies the plaster. It is our chemistry plaster of Paris, calcium sulfate into half H2O. 
द बोन डेवलप कार्टिलेजेज ऑन इट्स ओन थ्रू इट्स ओन रिपेयरिंग मैकेनिज्म डॉक्टर ओनली अप्लाइज द प्लास्टर इट इज फाउंड दैट नाउ डेज पॉली यूरेथेन इफॉक्सी रेजिन्स एंड विनाइल रेजिन्स आर यूज फॉर बोन फ्रैक्चर्स फॉर फिंगर्स फॉर रेस्ट एज वेल एज नी कैप नाउ डेज द पॉलीमर्स आर यूज दे आर सिलीकॉन रबर रॉड्स you might have heard particularly the artificial kidney the function of kidney is a beautiful example of our physical chemistry osmosis osmotic pressure diffusion and all that electrolysis polyacrylonitrile it is heparinized just to stop the clotting of blood is used along with that it is noticed that when we do dialysis the hospitals are very bulky and it is based on the principle that diffusion of solid particles and ultra filtration of fluid through the semi permeable membrane in case of contact lenses if we see earlier polymethyl methacrylate hard lenses were used but nowadays flexible soft hydroxy ethyl methacrylate under the name hema is used you might have seen there is a research that is a hydrogel research it is gaining lots of popularity particularly film actors and actresses you see they are having different colored eyes it is the beauty of our polymer chemistry i'll say here if the lens natural lens is damaged or due to cataract it has to be replaced nowadays hydrogels are used our chemistry in the field of forensic science you can go for forensic department forensic scientists what they do they collect the sample preserve the sample examine the sample and after that they submit the report in the court of law and based on that report judge gives the verdict that is the judgment it is a very nice field if you see the formulation chemistry what is a formulation chemistry in formulation chemistry the addition of inactive materials to increase the quality and quantity and durability now you can see its effect in cosmetology paints as well as food in cosmetology what they do they prepare different types of samples by adding many additives non reactive to get a new type of sample just like for hair removal in temporary hair removal they do addition of waxing or it is called sugaring in case of permanent hair removal they use ipl that is intense pulse light or or electrology so we can say in cosmetics whatever you seeing it maintains the ph of the skin so that the skin rashes will not be there marks will be removed and the scars will be removed so especially the girls can go in cosmetology department there are many college in mumbai and out of india so they can do cosmetology that is certificate course diploma course as well as degree course with the help of that they can beat the leading shahnaz hussain the leading cosmetologist in india in the field of formulation chemistry as i told you different types of paints asian paints neurolac paints all these companies they provide a good job to our chemistry students based on the formulation chemistry in case of chemical engineering what a chemical engineer does we should know a chemical engineer his designing is done in such a way so that the reactor as well as the material the raw material the product as well as the excretory product which comes out as a by product all these should be safe aside they should be safe from the pollution control point of view they should be eco friendly so by this way we can go for chemical engineering cosmetology forensic science 
at the same time if you look at the different aspects of chemistry what do you look that is the biochemistry or biotechnology i give one example dr hargobind khorana who got nobel prize in 1968 for pointing out unfolding the mystery of genetic code in the nucleotide of the nucleoside he had done msc with physical chemistry from punjab university then he switched over to biotechnology went to america and got the nobel prize in 1968 and in 1970 he and his team for the first time came out with the artificial copy of east gene so we can say chemistry is the mother of sciences you can go for geochemistry you can go for blood chemistry that is pathology and all that you can go for water chemistry we know water is a life japanese scientist masaru emoto did a lots of research for 15 years he came out with five volumes and he published that book and it was in 2005 it was the best new york seller in that case he said that water has got a memory why we say water is alive the beauty lies in its memory water absorbs whatever happens in the surrounding it just photocopies it because it has got a memory it has got a vibration we know very well chemistry people or chemistry students know very well water has got sp3 hybridization bond angle should be 109 degrees 28 minutes but because of vscpt valence pair electron pair repulsion theory lone pair lone pair lone pair bond pair bond pair bond pair repulsion the bond angle gets reduced to 104.5 degree with bent v shape and in higher spectroscopy we know it has got symmetric stretching asymmetric stretching and bending stretching masaru emoto did a research for 15 years and he said that the sound the word it has got vibration and same with these vibrations affect the vibration of water molecule so he said that if you use the soft words like thank you or i love you he found that water crystals were beautiful shape hexagonal and he found that while playing a positive music you can see the crystal structure changing by using a high speed photography he also said that if you use the negative words like i hate you or you fool it was very difficult to get the crystal of water so water has got a memory it absorbs whatever happens in the surrounding we can go our chemistry students can go in the water research field and they can do wonders over there in that case they can go for water uh, resources they can go for its analysis and different components and they can become a water chemist and in that case water chemist if they become they can go abroad they can get the best opportunities in european countries as well as america second scientist that is not fifer from germany munich germany he is a head of large number of medical institutes in munich he said that water has got energetic field and he developed energetic field therapy he said that if you drink water and we take the photographs after passing as low intensity electromagnetic radiations it is noticed that after drinking water especially zam zam water one can see the field generated in the human body and the human cell they responded excellently just like masaru emoto's research on water with the positive sound or positive music that the crystals were excellently arranged in hexagonal shape he said that when he passed a low intensity electromagnetic radiations he noticed that the human body cells were responding and they were highly energized in the presence of that water molecules with the person had consumed he did a research with 60 people by offering zam zam water and he showed that it has got a positive effect so in short water has got a memory we are talking about nanotechnology today remember india excelled in nanotechnology in 
12th to I can say 13th century, 7 to 800 years before. It was ancient India, ancient Indians were excelling in nanotechnology. The best example, I'll give you two examples over here. The best, one of the best example is Kutub Minar. Kutub Minar in Delhi, it has got a wrought iron with 98% and beautiful nanotechnology that in 800 years it has not corroded at all. This Kutub Minar was studied by Kutubuddin Abak in 1193, then Altamas, then Firoz Shah Tughlaq, it was completed in 1368. So it was so designed, Indians were so excelled in nanotechnology that people are today talking about. And the beauty of nanotechnology is that these nanoparticles, my loving students, you will be shocked to know that the nanoparticles, they have got astonishing physical properties, chemical properties, electrical conductivity, thermal conductivity, ductility, malleability, density, etc. We all know bulk gold is yellow in color. But if we take 50 nanometer gold size, it is purple in color. But if we take gold in 25 nanometer size, it is ruby red in color. If we take 1 nanometer size, it gives orange color. So different colors of gold, it is beauty of nanoparticles. And if we look at the other aspect of chemistry, we talk about the catalysis. You know, the catalytic converters in automobile, they find they are used to remove the noxious gases like CO and NOx. That is NO, N2O, N2O3, N2O4, N2O5. At the same time, we can say that our chemistry is everywhere in every works of life. Right from your kitchen. Remember, when you cut the onion, you start tearing. Do you know why you start tearing? Because in onion flesh, onion cells, there is a propyl sulfoxide. When it comes in contact with the atmosphere or it touches the eye, it reacts with the moisture and produces sulfuric acid and that, that brings about irritation and tearing to our eyes. In order to avoid this tearing, you should soak onion in water or oven it or you can cut the onion with super sharp knife. Or you can put in your mouth chingam or you can put a piece of bread or you can use goggles. See the beautiful chemistry in our apple, <coughs> in our banana, in our pear. When you cut the banana, apple or pear and keep it open for some time in the atmosphere, it turns brown in color. This is called browning of apple, browning of banana and browning of pear. Do you know what is this? My loving students, you will be shocked to know that in these fleshes, there is polyphenyl oxidase enzyme. It oxidizes polyphenols in the flesh of these fruits, that is apple, banana and pear. It produces orthoquinone, that is 1,2-benzoquinone, which reacts with amino acid. And this amino acid further gets oxidized due to the reaction of amino acid and benzocanone, it gives a brown melanin. And that brown melanin is the color which is seen on the surface of the cut apple, banana as well as pear. If you look at the pineapple, its pH is 3 to 4, it is very acidic. And if you look at the melon, that is musk melon, watermelon and other fruits, they are found to be having less acidity. That is acid amount is less, that is said to be malic acid. Pineapple contains citric acid as well as malic acid. So we can say that chemistry is in every work of life. Just I told you, you can become a uh, chemist, it is not only that you can become a teacher in a college and teach chemistry or you can become a lab assistant. No, 
You can become a teacher, you can become a professor, you can become a chemist, you can become a scientist, you can become a forensic scientist, you can become a pain technologist, you can become a cosmetologist, you can become a forensic scientist, you can develop chemical engineering, you can become a pharmaceutical industry, you can go, you can become a very famous pharmacist, you can also go abroad in the next part of my lecture, I'll tell you how you can go abroad and flourish and you become best in your career by taking chemistry as one of the major subject. Now I'll tell you, there are different companies in India, that is Sipla, Johnson and Johnson, Lupin, Ghada Chemical, Sun Pharma, Dr. Reddy's Lab, Arthi Chemical, so many are there in Mumbai and out of Mumbai, all over India, you can get a nice job over there. How you can flourish yourself and make your career by choosing a particular stream of chemistry. Rather than talking about after BSc, I let you know first one step before 12th standard. Remember, after 12th standard passing with science, students they go for NEET, ITG, CET to become doctor, engineer or pharmacist. And this to our week, uh, they go for IT, information technology or computer science. But some of the students who are left out, they go for BSc. In BSc, when you are choosing your subject, there is CBZ, Chemistry, Botany, Zoology. There is a PCM, Physics, Chemistry, Maths. There is a PCB, Physics, Chemistry, Botany. Or PCM, Physics, Chemistry, Maths. So while choosing, you should be very careful that if you are making your career with chemistry, then remember my chemistry is easier than maths and physics. It is little tougher than botany and zoology. So if you take PCM group or PCB, PCZ and second year as PC physics and chemistry, it helps you to learn and understand physical chemistry in your SYBSC as well as in TYBSC. Now, if you want to go abroad, after 12th standard, in 10th and 12th, you should have 80% and you should pass one English proficiency test that is a TOEFL or IELTS. That is International Eng English Language Testing System. And two very strong recommendation letters. You can go abroad. Outside India, the five countries are there who welcome students for chemistry learning. They are America, that is USA, UK, Germany, along with that Ireland and China. You will be shocked to know China. China recently has come out with very nice fantastic infrastructure. So these five countries, that is America, UK, Germany, Ireland, as well as China, they welcome chemistry students, whether you go for graduation, post-graduation, or you go for your PhD, that is a doctoral. Now, after completing BSc in chemistry, if you want to be in India, and you want to pursue your MSc, then remember in premier institutes like IITs, there are 23 IITs in India and the top most at present case is IIT Mumbai. Then IIT Delhi, IIT Madras, which is Chennai now, and IIT Kharagpur, Ruriki, and all that. IIT Mumbai. That is 23 institutes out of that, IIT Mumbai is at number one. In my, during my PhD work, I was jointly with ICT, Institute of Chemical Technology, as well as IIT Pawai. I know these two institutes are the premier institutes for PhD as well as MSc. If you want to go for MSc, then remember, after passing your BSc, for going MSc courses in these institutes, you must pass out their entrance exam. They have got entrance exam as well as BHU, BITS Pilani, all these are premier institutes. They want your entrance exam for the entry point. 
So we can say in India, if you want to go for premier institute, for MSA, you have to qualify their entrance exam. USA, he did his BSc, MSc, PhD. For the time being, he was in NASA. I don't know where he is now, but he was a very brilliant student. Even after 12th, you can go. After BSc, you can go. After MSc. Now question arises, suppose you completed your MSc with chemistry. What are the options over here? After MSc, if you want to do PhD in premier institutes like IITs, ICT, that is Institute of Chemical Technology, which was called UDCT earlier, it is the premier institute best in Asia for chemical engineering. Where I was there since 1988 to 1992, during M.M. Sharma was the director of that institute. It is a famous institute, very interesting to work over there and remember all the doctorates who do from there, they go abroad. So these IITs, ICTs as well as BHU, Bits Pilani, Rurikis, they require GATE exam, Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. GATE Graduate Aptitude Test in Engineering. This GATE exam is conducted by ITNs. So you can qualify that GATE exam and get PhD admission in these premier institutes. If not that, you can go for CSIR UGC net. Qualify that, prepare for that. There are institutes, there are coaching centers for that. You can do self-study, prepare for that and qualify. That is for lecturership as well as you can get a very nice scholarship, huge amount. You can take care of yourself, family and your studies and get in the premier institutes. If you don't get that, then all the universities in India, especially our Mumbai, PET exam is there, preliminary examination test. Qualify that and get admission for PhD in the universities or in colleges. But remember, if you get PhD from premier institutes like IITs, ICTs, Bits Pilani, BHU, TFR, BARC, they all require GATE exam. You will be getting a door, a window to foreign countries. So you can do this, that is MSc, after that do PhD. After PhD you can become an assistant lecturer or you can become a, uh, you can say, in some of the premier companies as a chief, I can say RD, research and development analyzer, and you can develop your own skill. You can formulate the chemicals and come out the new products in the market. So we can say if we take chemistry as a major subject, as a main subject, then it will be helping you throughout your life. I can say, my chemistry is in every walk of life. Remember when you get up early in the morning, what do we use? You use your toothbrush, it is a chemistry. Use your toothpaste, that is nothing but it contains, let it be Colgate, let it be Close Up or any brand. It contains stannous fluoride. This fluoride coats the calcium hydroxyapatite or the tooth enamel. So whatever the food particles, <coughs> they are entangled within the teeth, they produce acid. So it nullifies the acid and protects your tooth. Remember, when cavities are generated, root canaling is done, you go to the doctor. Nowadays, people earlier used to fill the cavities with silver amalgam or gold. But nowadays, they are having chemicals. That is our chemistry plays a vital role over there. That is thermosetting as well as photosetting polymers. You might have seen when you, you have gone to doctor for tooth filling or you can say root canaling, you might have seen for setting those polymers, they use blue light. That blue light is called the curing light. So we can say moment we start to, tooth brushing, after that you take tea, coffee, biscuit or Whatever you take, sandwich, it is entire composite, it is a catalyst to you which will be catalyzing throughout the day. After that, you take a meal, soft meal. After that, you take your clothes, that is textile chemistry. 
I will tell you in ICE city, there is perfumery department, textile department, drugs and dyes, pharmaceutical, food technology, as well as there is oils, fats and lipids. All these departments are there in ICT, that is Institute of Chemical Technology. If you get a chance to enter over there, it will be really a window, a door to the foreign countries for further research in the field of chemistry and chemical engineering. So after taking your clothes and all that, you take a vehicle. The vehicle, let it be a scooter, let it be a car, let it be auto, let it be whatever you reach to the office. Through these vehicles, this vehicle contains CNG or diesel or petrol, whatever the case may be. When you enter in your office, what do you see? The furniture, the fan, the AC, the fridge and all the things are chemistry. So we can say when you come back through all those things without chemistry you cannot walk, cannot talk, cannot do anything. So my chemistry is everywhere in every walk of life. So our chemistry has centralized the entire world by making a bridge with physics on one side that is the chemical physics and making a bridge with biological sciences on the other hand and making it a biotechnology or biochemistry giving some name but chemistry is everywhere. So I say my suggestion is that walk chemistry, eat chemistry, drink chemistry, enjoy chemistry, make your career in chemistry. Thank you very much. God bless you and you prosper in the field of science, especially chemistry. And when you go abroad, do their MS, do their PhD, make money for 5 to 10 to 15 years and come back to our loving country, India, and serve the nation. In my time, I had got in five countries, America, that is USA, UK, France, as well as Poland. But after doing postdoc, I came back to India and I taught chemistry all over India. I am doing it. May God take these facilities and these experiences to be shared with all the nations, all the people in the world. The God give you strength, power, energy to excel in all walks of life and you become many, many times more than me and all the people around. So with this, I say thank you very much. Now the important questions, any queries from your side, please. Yes, any questions, please? Yes, the question is IPR. It is IPL, that is intense pulsed light actually it removes the hair along with the follicles that is the root yeah regarding gate exam maths is not compulsory you can prepare for it you can qualify and get admission for phd in the premier institutes yes very good you can do MSc in Forensic Science, it is just like after 12th standard we do BSc in Chemistry, then MSc in Chemistry. Now if you have done your BSc with Chemistry, doesn't matter. You will be having a double degree. You can go for BSc Forensic Science, you can go for MSc in Forensic Science, you can go for PhD. There is a best institute for Forensic Science at Madam Kama Road Church Gate. Along with that, it is in Gujarat, it is in Ahmedabad, it is in Punjab and different parts of India. It's an excellent field and you can progress in that by doing wonders. Can we pursue MTech with chemical engineering? Yes. See, after writing gate exam, you can get admission for MTech. And at the same time, if you remember, you can guide the students after 12th standard. If they go, it will be better. That is, they will do B.Tech, M.Tech and Ph.D. Tech. But after MSc, if they write the GATE exam, they will get admission over there. They can do M.Tech after that Ph.D. Tech. Yes. For getting admission in Forensic Science BSc, the requirement is 12th standard 
with science. But you have done your BSc with chemistry. After that, you want to do uh, BSc in forensic science, you can do it. You don't have maths in 12th standard, but it doesn't matter. You can write their entrance exams. Some of the students, they have got their own entrance exams, just like ICT is having, IITs are also having, BHU is having. Their entrance exams, you can qualify, you can get admission in those premier institutes. Thank you, sir. Welcome, dear. Yes, very good. For perfumery, as I told you, this is the very uh, exciting and very, I can say, pleasant field for chemistry students. It is a center in Vajay College. At the same time, it is in ICT, Institute of Chemical Technology. And the, I mean, ICT is the best along with the Vajay College. If you get ICT well and good, otherwise Vajay College, it is the same thing after 12th standard. But doesn't matter. If you completed BSc with chemistry, you can also get admission for that. Okay, sir. Yes, all right, dear. Student, if you have any question, please uh, put up in a chat box or you can ask directly to sir. Yes, sure, sure, sure. EYBSC student, please, any SY, doubt? SYFY. If you have any doubt, you can ask. SYBSC, FYBSC. Please don't hesitate. Otherwise, we have the, so many questions. Uh, yes, sir. somebody is asking, so, somebody is asking after MSc can go for forensic, yes, doesn't matter, you will be having double degrees, BSc and MSc and after they are entering in forensic science, it will be triple degree, go on learning as much as possible and that will give you more flavor and more glory, you can do after that, you will be having more experience and you become a better forensic scientist, you can make shake the judges in the courts, that is High Court and Supreme Courts. Because, uh, Sheikh sir, I have one question. Yes, sure. Tell me exactly what is the scope of entire chemistry? Scope of entire chemistry, TYBSC. Yes, very good question. Scope of entire chemistry means you are talking about all the branches of chemistry, organic, inorganic, physical, analytical, pharmaceutical, so on and so forth. Now, very first answer I will give you, if anybody wants to go teaching in school or junior college, particularly school, mostly after BSc they do B.Ed and go for teaching or after MSc they do B.Ed and go for teaching, then remember, if a student from botany is coming, zoology is coming, chemistry is coming, then remember chemistry student will be selected first for teaching post in school. Your question will be why? The reason is that in 10th standard chemistry, botany, zoology, if you look at that physics and chemistry is more, 75%, 25% is biology. A chemistry graduate can teach physics and chemistry up to 10th level very nicely. That's the reason why my humble request and suggestion is that who wants to go teaching in schools, they must take chemistry in their graduation and master. If they do master, they will become a principal. In after graduation, if they go for teaching, they will become a teacher and they will be first selected. Even the physics and botany zoology will not be selected, but the first preference will be given to chemistry because the chemistry teacher can teach physics and chemistry and biology together in a school. Similarly, if you go for in uh, teaching in junior college or even degree college, you see number of chemistry students are more and therefore number of teachers will also required will be more. So that's the reason why if input is more, output will be naturally more. So you'll be getting good options to get chemistry, I can say teaching in school, college as well as in university. Secondly, you see that there are pharmaceutical companies and entire drugs, dyes, pharmaceuticals, so many I have told you, all these are nothing but chemistry students are first selected. So overall, in all the industrial field, <laughs> you can say soil pollution, water pollution, air pollution, 
are environmental chemistry, environmental control, all these only chemistry graduates are involved, chemistry persons are involved with MSc and PhD. So chemistry, whether you go in industry or you go in uh, what is called in school, teaching, college, university, everywhere you will get chemistry. So overall chemistry, the most boosting number of students are more, number of teachers are more and in that case you will be getting more probability for getting selected. And remember, outside India if you go, just I cited one example of Dr. Hargobind Khurana, that people, their background of chemistry only can excel in biotechnology, microbiology, as well as biological sciences. So all these great personnel of botany and zoology, they are having their chemistry as a foundation. That's the reason why my chemistry overall is applicable in every walk of life and you can make career with chemistry with excellent opportunities. Yes. How to go pharmaceutical company? Yeah, yeah, sure. I have one question. Yeah. Uh, what I observed is uh, students find chemistry difficult to score as compared to other subjects. And uh, secondly, especially organic chemistry they are afraid of. Yes, yes, yes. I, I'll There's tell you. That. I'll tell you a secret about that. <laughs> you use the word other. Don't say other. It links the biological sciences on one side and physics and maths on the other side. So therefore, little effort one has to do. As much sugar will put, that much it will be sweet. Neither put less sugar nor put more sugar. So yes, in that case, chemistry is very much eco-friendly, I can say. I can say brain-friendly or we can say the life-friendly. So, as you talked about organic chemistry, they find difficult. Organic chemistry is the simplest here. I taught stereochemistry and reaction mechanism for IIT, JE and AIEEE 25 years all over India. I had made lakhs of rupees out of that. It is the simplest. Only thing is that little background of inorganic and physical chemistry is must. Inorganic chemistry may periodic table, chemical bonding, as well as atomic structure, these three chapters should be thorough with that. And in physical chemistry, entropy, thermodynamics and all that if it is little clear, one can excel in chemistry excellently. Now coming to the nomenclature of organic compounds and the stereochemical mechanisms of that, I will tell you, if inorganic chemistry is perfect with atomic structure, periodicity, chemical bonding, you can create a new mechanism of yours. In my book, Etard Oxidation, you will find there is no mechanism. Even in Morrison Boyd, it is given no mechanism. I have given two mechanisms for that. That is said to be cationic, anionic as well as free radical mechanism. So ionic mechanism as well as radical mechanism. In Clemenson's reduction, you see there is no mechanism. Here in this case, carbonium ion, carbonium ion, radical and carbene is generated. So if inorganic chemistry is thorough with those three chapters, you can generate a reaction mechanism on your own and decide the fate of the mechanism depending on entropy, free energy and enthalpy. So organic chemistry is very easy, but first before teaching we should give little background of inorganic chemistry and little physical chemistry, then start with organic chemistry. And the beauty of organic chemistry to make it simple and understand, make a practice, it is not like online, make a practice. You will ask them to submit the assignment, they just photocopy and give that. You make them write the reaction once, twice, thrice. I yes. Get Next, CSR, you see all these exams are applicable for getting admission in PhD in ICT. Can we do any other courses with BSc? Sir, one girl is asking. Yes. Sir, we can do any other courses with BSc? Uh, you cannot do two courses from the same university. You can enroll in some other university and you can do it if you can. Because Mumbai University does not permit two courses from the same university. You can do it from Gujarat University, Punjab University, Delhi University. You can do two courses. Okay, thank you. Welcome, dear. Yes, any more question, please? Pharmaceutical companies in abroad. Yes, pharmaceutical companies abroad, see, 
if you are doing phd from reputed institute in india there are many pharmaceutical companies on google you will see there are brands and you can get from the related topic whatever your phd topic was there what your master topic was there related on that if you apply over there with two strong recommendation letters you will get admission over there they conduct their interviews and after conducting the interview seeing your recommendations as well as your uh, qualification and the scope of your subject the theme the topic which you had decided during your phd that will help you to qualify and get admission in abroad companies uh, thank you sir student do you have any other questions if not then we are in a position to end the session uh, from student side if anybody is interested to give the feedback please unmute and give the feedback uh, how you feel about today's session thank you dear public can you unmute yourself public from msc part 2 yes sir uh, good morning good morning dear good morning god bless hello yes dear i am listening good morning thank you sir thank you sir for your time for guiding us thank you very much it was a nice session thank you dear thank you any other students abhuruddhi thank you sir what is your feedback how you like sir session yes so you want to good morning sir good morning good morning yes sir it was very uh, excellent session we thank just loved you. it and thank you for it thank you sir thank you dear thank you anybody from fibsc student new comers fibsc student anybody can un Can you tell uh, tell about the session? Yes. Meanwhile, somebody has asked the government exams. Yes, dear. Rather than this, all the chemistry related companies and all that, you can go for railway, you can go for navy, you can go for IAS, you can go for IPS. All the exams because science is everywhere, chemistry is everywhere. I taught for IES students for 25 years almost all over India. If you are preparing for IES or IPS exam, I'll help you out. You can go for that. With chemistry background, you'll be excelling better. Yes. Somebody, somebody has asked that can I do MSc in forensic science after BSc in chemistry? No. You have to do first BSc in forensic science, then MSc in forensic science. केमिस्ट्रीस uh uh with this uh, feedback and uh, uh, students query and thank you so much sir shekh oh, sir oh the thank you thank you sir on the behalf of maru ma'am uh, from the bottom of my heart uh, on the behalf of chemistry department inter chemistry department we are really grateful to you uh, student uh, i would like to tell you two things one uh, feedback link will share uh, today at night so everybody should give the feedback online by google form and it will be considered as a attendance also to so please those have attended the session please give the feedback and uh, at last i would like to uh, request our uh, colleague student our student your student uh, miss sana shek to propose a vote of thanks uh, miss sana shek somebody has asked a question for msc yes you have to do uh, you have to write entrance exam for getting admission in msc in ict ICT people, they have got entrance exams. You can go there in Matunga, opposite VJTI Institute. You will get the information, write that exam, and you can get admission for MSc, for paper as well as for research. Thank you, sir. Yes. Uh, good morning, one and all. Uh, present here. 
on behalf of uh, the head of our head of the department, Dr. Umila Maru, and Department of Chemistry, I would like I miss Sana Sheikh. Would like to thank Dr. Ahmed Sheikh, our today's guest lecture, and head of the Department of Chemistry, Maharashtra College, for uh, uh, for his uh, uh, in, uh, accepting our invitation and giving us. Uh, very uh, very important and uh, useful session and sir it was very helpful for a student also it is uh, on career aspects thank you uh, so much sir welcome welcome and uh, uh, now uh, i express my sincere thanks to management of our college for uh, their support uh, and thanks to our principal sir, uh, uh, Professor Dr. S. V. Rathor, uh, for his support and encouragement. <laughs> Finally, I thank all of the students for their presence and make the event successful. Thank you all of you, entire chemistry department. Thank you all of you. Uh, over to you, Sandeep sir. Thank you, sir. Uh, thank you, Sana Sheikh. Now it's time to say bye. <laughs> Yes, yes. Bye. God bless. God bless. We'll meet again. Sure, sure. Thank you, sir. Can I coordinate with you after this session? Is over. Yes. Thank you very much. God bless everybody.